Yo, what's up, y'all? Welcome to Ambiance Podcast. With me right now, I have Waldo. What's up, what's up? How you doing, Waldo? I'm good, bro. Thanks for having me, man. Of course, man. Very unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> me, and my, me and my guy just met like literally 30 minutes ago. Yeah. We, we over here doing an impromptu podcast. I got to thank Andres up there for uh, inviting me and Waldo into the Selection HQ. Most deaf, most yeah. deaf. But how you liking LA, man? Man, I'm loving it. Um, just loving the energy. It's a lot of good people out here, a lot of creatives out here, man. It's just an inspiring scenery for real. Yeah, yeah. You came from um, Grand Rapids, Michigan, Grand too, Rapids, right? Grand Rapids, Michigan. Yep. Yeah. Born and raised. Um, right now, I'm I'm out in A Z, but yeah. Uh, yeah, Grand Rapids is my hometown, man. Man, I never met anybody from Michigan. How is the music scene out there? Um, it's actually dope, bro. You know, Detroit yeah. is on fire, bro. It's Motown, so oh, that's true. even though the city is kind of like died down based off of like the economy and shit with the factory shutting down but it's still a lot of creative people out there a lot of skaters and stuff like that so yeah yeah would you have any uh like influences out there that kind of like what got you into music when you were younger well my father my dad got me into music um he would always play all types of stuff around me so i grew up around like hearing like biggie smalls and like talib yeah. Kweli, and then turning around and him playing like steely dan and shit like that so it's <laughs> like i got like the, the best of both worlds, man. Um, but yeah, my father was definitely, definitely the the influencer in pushing me into the and music. Pushing, and then you had just had a music inclination, inclin, inclinement mm-hmm. to kind of. And how, how old were you when you started getting into music? Um, I didn't start recording until I was in eighth grade. Um, okay. But I've always been like a music person, so even as like a little ass kid, I was just like writing rhymes and drawing pictures of like rappers and dancing like Michael Jackson and all types Damn. of stuff, bro. So yeah. So you always just had a creative side. Yeah. I was always that, the animated dude. You the know anime. what I'm saying? Yeah. I was always that, that little brother running around dancing and entertaining people and stuff like that. So yeah. That's dope. What, what brought you out to uh, Arizona? Um, just family and just looking for uh, a, a bigger market. Truth be told, you know, being in Grand Rapids, Michigan is not, um, it's not G- Detroit, you yeah, know what yeah. I'm saying? It's not Chicago or any of that. So sometimes you got to expand. Um, but yeah, Arizona just definitely getting me closer over here to LA, you know, um, West Coast living. Um, got a lot of fans out here that listen to the music and stuff. So yeah. And, yeah. and how you said you come out here pretty often, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. I try to. Um, this is actually my first time this year being out here, yeah. uh, but I've been out here a couple of times before. Um, had a couple of shows down at like the Echo Plex. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, did a couple of different other joints too out here. So for sure, and you got a, you got an album coming coming soon, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, album coming out titled Grove. Um, it'll be dropping in uh, November. November. Um, yep, I got some some pretty uh, cool artists on there that you know a few people may know of. Um, I work real close with Sango. Okay. Um, he's off the Selection Wave AGO. Um, did I he got, did he pr- produce the whole thing? Uh, he he's ex- executive producing, so okay. damn near the whole thing. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I got a couple of different other producers on there. I work closely with Esther, uh, Savon, Mosaic, um, Kaylin Ellis, and a couple other artists. Okay, yeah, I'm excited for it, man. Thank I know you, we bro. just met, but we were listening to it off camera, and man, it's fire. Yeah, thank you, bro. Really Appreciate is. it for real, for yeah, real. Yeah, like course, that's man. what I came out here for. <laughs> I just wanted to see how people feel. So. Um, yeah, it feels good to know. Like, De- people definitely, enjoy. it definitely has that West Coast feel to it. I feel like, definitely. And bro. I mean, you said you said it earlier. A lot of your fan base is out here too. So, yes. I mean, I feel like it's gonna catch on really Man, well. And, that, and that's what I'm hoping for. But that that's the thing about me. I love music from all over so you could take me to the south you could bring me out here to the west coast we can go to the bay and all of that we could take it to the east coast and i and i got a fan i'm a fan of probably just about every artist coming out just because i love different sounds and different vibes and it influences our music you know um you know coming from grand rapids we don't really have culture i guess you i would say as far as like what music's supposed to sound like you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we are influenced damn near by everything. You know what I'm saying? We listen to everybody. It's not like one particular sound or whatever. So, how far is Grand Rapids from Detroit? Uh, about two hours. About two, two three hours. hours. Okay. Yeah, two or three hours. Yeah. So it's not like I said. It's not like off the grid or nothing like that <laughs> crazy. But uh, like I said, we the Midwest, bro. So we get a little bit of everything. Just a big melting pot. No, nah, I feel you for sure. I, I, me myself, I moved to uh, Colorado for like three or four years. I played college ball up there, but mm. man, it was a culture shock with music. And you really, when you live in these different states, you really understand like how different it is yeah, for culture. For and for me, like being born and raised in LA, like 
I don't sometimes it takes moving away to realize how blessed I am to come mm-hmm. from like LA and be able to Facts. get this taste out here. Cause you 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 yourself, you are out here and you're like, damn, I'm trying to move out here. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Like this this place is amazing, bro. Like I said, it's just the it's damn near feels like a dream being out here, man. Cause you know, we grow up seeing movies and seeing Los Angeles and like, yeah. you know, again, the music, especially hip hop, you know, having like Snoop, you know, Tupac and all of that, bro, just pushing the LA wave real hard. That was just big for us, you know, and mm-hmm. being all the way in the Midwest, bro, where it's just covered in snow, it ain't no big buildings or nothing coming out here. It's like, wow. So yeah. definitely. And most hip hop too, I feel like is lifestyle rap too. I mean, all these West Coast rappers kind of like, rapping exactly. about lifestyle so like if you're not here it's kind of hard to even get in that creative space to where like you can actually rap about the lifestyle you're living like you're yeah. in la like i feel like if you moved out here your whole flow would be changing and your whole oh, vocabulary yeah, sure. right it's, that's what i love about la and it's been been coming out a lot lately in the music too like uh, you hear like you know of course it's been like sugar free and shit yeah. like that he's from here he's been pushing that but then you hear blue face kind of just like reinventing the wheel yeah. you know what i'm saying and yeah, taking yeah. that to a whole nother level and i enjoy it bro you for, enjoy for, it yeah definitely i love anything that that comes out pretty much bro it's hard to not if i don't like it bro it really gotta be some trash yeah <laughs> like, for real that's cool really though so trash. you gotta you gotta open mind then hell yeah bro because just because i like i said we are you know the generation coming up you know mm-hmm. and um I just feel like people really are closed minded to a lot of shit, but it's like, you know, when you, and a lot of people like to talk about like the older cats, like, oh, yeah, the old heads, heads yeah. oh, they don't like this, they don't like that. But truth be told, it's like when they was our age and younger, it was like they was doing the exact same That's shit, true. bro. So it's like, how you gonna turn That's around true. and hate, bro? Like, yeah, so. I'm sure I'm sure a lot of people like NWA and, and everybody started coming out, it was just like, well, what, was, the fuck what the fuck? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you see the movie, like yeah, it wasn't, definitely. it wasn't re- too receptive. So that is true, and I, I think that's awesome mm-hmm. that you're so receptive to all these other sounds. Definitely. And are you, are you like married to one type of flow? Or are you, you trying to switch Honestly, your shit up bro, constantly? Thanks to like the the circle I'm in, bro. They always push me to do something different. Like, um, and I and I kind of gravitate towards that naturally. Anyways, I never want to just stay in one box or one lane. Um, funny thing is, it's kind of hard to even pinpoint what type of sound i have now because it's just like i said it's it's just a melting pot for me Mm -hmm. like i take from everything and i just make it my own so yeah yeah definitely not just married to one idea or one type of sound i'm gonna always try to give you something different for sure that's what's up yeah and the fact that even sango produced most of it and Mm -hmm. everything that's already like itself making your making your tracks unique you know because the sound is so new to a lot of people and it's just like separate from mainstream like production as far as that goes you know yeah and and Bro is just a genius at what he do, man. He's Straight really up. passionate, and again, him being one of those people in my circle, he he really pushed me to do different things. And it was just like seeing how different he was and his ear, and how he would take stuff a little left field, and then he would take it where you're comfortable with listening to it. And it's just it's just a great experience all around, bro. Just to be around people like that, man. Yeah. How did you and uh, Sango link? Honestly, bro, we went to school together. I've been really? knowing since eighth grade, bro. I've been knowing him for for years. Um, bro and I uh, uh, went to Pinewood Pinewood Middle School, Pinewood in Kenwood, Middle Michigan. School. Shout yep. out to Pinewood. Yeah, shout out to Pinewood <laughs> for real. Shout out to Kenwood for real. Uh, yep, I met bro uh, maybe a week or two before the school year ended. Um, I had did a talent show with a couple of homies, and we rapped. And he pulled me aside. He was like, hey, bro, you sound pretty legit, And that's, bro. like, right when you started, too. You said you started. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I was, like, maybe the year before, like, year or two before I was, like, writing rhymes. But I, I actually went and performed. He was like, bro, you actually sound, like, professional. Like, you should come to my house. And then we just ended up linking up uh, probably, like, the last day of school. And the rest is history, bro. He's been recording with him ever since. And then to see his his growth is amazing yeah so. yeah yeah it's, it's that sounds like serendipity too just man yeah the alignment of the stars kinda exactly it was know? just meant to be and and bro you know has always been you know as talented as he is now so yeah, yeah. and he always tell me turn around like bro you got it too bro you know <laughs> so it's like word well you, if, <laughs> i mean at, at the level he's at if he sees something in you then obviously like, it's real yeah exactly. you ain't no choke you know exactly yeah yeah that's yeah. what's up what are some of the artists that you're feeling right now um uh, I love a lot of Michigan music, bro. I'm with the home team. Like, you know what put, I'm saying? Yeah, put me on. Uh, it's a lot of, uh, I listen to, right now is Drago and Bino. I don't know if you know who Drago and Bino is. I don't, man. Uh, they I fire. Out. They work, uh, they got a couple records actually with Shoreline Mafia. Oh, it's real? out in the Bay. So, okay. um, but you know, uh, I listen to Babyface Ray, Peasy, 
Team East Side, like that whole wave, man. Um, Big Sean, of course. I'm big on Michigan wave, Danny Brown, all of them. So yeah, yeah that's awesome, man. Well, um, where what about some of your past music? Where can people find some of your past music? Uh, yeah, uh, actually, I got Pick Your Own Poison um, out through Selection, the homies. So that's a tape that's on their website. Uh, I have uh, the rest of my music's actually on Apple Music, Spotify. You can go in there and download. Uh, get them strings up for me, y'all. <laughs> but yeah, you can go literally sure. on like YouTube, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever you work with, iTunes. That's what's up. Where what where can people find you on uh social media and everything? Uh at Waldo the Don. Waldo That's literally Don. everything. Yep. Instagram at Waldo the Don, Twitter at Waldo the Don, um, Facebook at Waldo the Don. So. Waldo the Don, okay. Yeah. Uh would you be cool with doing a little freestyle right now? Uh, little, yeah, man, we can see what we can do, man. Yeah, we, right. hey, you told me I'm you can to edit it, so if I'm too <laughs> trash, you know what I'm saying, we could just cut the beat off. <laughs> exactly, I'm trying to see the flow, bro. So yeah, 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 yeah. Um, let me see if we got a. We can hear like the music a little bit in the back. Yeah, this is uh, the homeboy say mom produced this joint right here, so I'm gonna just see if I can get off on this a little bit. All right, let's get it. Uh, AGO. Yeah. Shout out my dog T in the house, man. He came all the way out to LA with your boy. Uh, look. Fuck all that waiting I'm taking. Got plenty of time, but I'm impatient. Me and my niggas is on the same. That is a common denominator. We doing numbers like cracking a combination. But everything got a moderation. That's quality over quantity. And niggas biting me like Sanaya Lathan. That's a violation. So I'm at their chin like a violin. Orchestrated. Play you a symphony with these instruments. I got a guilty conscience, but I'm innocent. She got a filthy conscience. We get intimate. Don't ever show up deep when there's an incident. You know we toting heat to keep from shivering. Uh. Ain't shit sweet like cinnamon. I've been going hard like adrenaline is rushing through my heart. Cause we in charge. Free my niggas that ain't beat the charge. I could see the bars. Cause we ain't far. They want to throw the squad in they squad cars. But they can't now cause we rock stars. Damn. It's a lifestyle. Don't nothing move but the money. It's a heist now. Don't like how you move. You acting funny, so we hostile. My whole crew like junkies. We bring pipes out. Uh. Bring the nikes out. Yeah. Bring the lights out. About the freestyle. Let the. Uh, I don't know how it's gonna okay. go for you. Yeah, nah, I, I got a little something, bro. No, no, no. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much, man. That Most was death, bro. that was fire. I really fuck with this Appreciate shit, it, man. Appreciate it, bro. Hell I'm yeah. I'm so glad that I'm 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 onto your music now and Everybody listen out there. Get on my man, Waldo. Hey. And we appreciate it, man. Thanks again, boss, for having of me. Of course. That's right. AGO.